That we know, we said a pasuk yesterday, Etz Hayim Heilim Hazikim Ba is the tree of life for those who support the Torah. Right? So if you support the Torah, the Torah will come and be a tree of life for you. It will give you all the bracha. But we think about it, sometimes people will think, you see, without us, the Torah would not exist. You see? If we didn't support it, who will support it? You have to realize, no. You don't. You think you carry the Torah? No. The Torah carries you. As we know, that the Ark, look at the Ark, the Ark which housed the Ten the Commandments, right? The tablets. And we know that this is the one of the, it was in Kodesh Kodeshim, the holiest artifact we had. And what? The Torah teaches us in Yeshua's time, when they were coming to cross the Jordan River. They had a big river blocking them from Israel. How'd they get across? So the Pesuk tells us clearly, Kohanim carrying the Ark, walked into the water a little bit, and then the river stopped flowing. The Midrash says actually it started mounding up as a huge mountain of water that you could see from miles away. Imagine you could see, they say these tall buildings, right? Huge buildings in Dubai, huge buildings in New York. You could see from a very far place. So therefore, they saw a tower of water in Yerushua's time. All the river was going not sideways anymore. It was going upwards. Everybody crossed. Problem was, Kwanim were in the beginning of the river, and everybody crossed, and now what? How are they supposed to cross? If they go back out, if they go back, if they continue, how are they going to cross? The river's going to start flowing again once they leave. Once they leave, the water's going to crash down on them. So the Torah says, what? The Torah says that they arrived at the Jordan. The Kohanim stood on the dry ground. But then the Kohanim carrying the ark went up from the Jordan. The soles of the Kohanim's feet were removed to the dry ground. The water of the Jordan returned to its place and flowed. When they finished crossing, the Kohanim magically, miraculously, the power of the Torah, they floated across. They didn't even need to walk. They floated across. And the ark, the Gemara says, we learn from here, the ark carries those who carry it. You would think, oh, I'm holding the ark and I have to schlep it across. No. The ark, just by holding on to it, it goes, whoop, and went up. Person gives to that someone learning. How is that? How does it work? All of a sudden, you say, the balloon. I get the same reward as him. I start doing business. I think to do business honestly. I think to to go and, and, and I'm one step ahead of my friends. I, 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 I'm, I'm passing this test with, the, with this person that, that, that's putting me in a tough spot. How did I have all this koach? Or did I study Torah that I was able to do the right thing time after time after time? Because you supported Torah. So now the Torah took you up with it. You were just, oh, I'm low. I didn't study Torah. How am I going to pass this test? Because you supported Torah, the Torah took you, like the Kohanim, whoop, and you went up, and you went up levels, and you went up, and you're able to overcome your nature, because the Torah considers it as a tree of life for you. We know that King David, he recaptured the Ark from the Plishtim, right? The Goim stole it from us. We got it back. What did he do? He was dancing in the street, all the way back to the Mishkan, all the way back to the, to the, to the, to the, to the, to the resting place of the Ark. And what did he do? And it says that it looked like the Ark was going to slip, Uzzah, he stuck his hand out to catch the ark, and he died. Right away, Hashem killed him. Why? Because people shouldn't make a mistake and think that we need to carry the ark. He saved it, they're going to say, oh, you see, it would have fell if it, wouldn't, if he touched, it didn't touch it. He saved it. No, so say, you see, that because he died, we see it didn't need him. It didn't you need him. It's just a normal uh, reaction. reaction. But when it comes to the, he's the person who was, Part of the Kwanim. He, he knows yeah, what the Ark is. Better, he should have known better. So from the fact that he didn't really believe it. He didn't really believe the Ark carries its people. So he died. He should have known. And we see from here that the Torah doesn't need us. The Ark doesn't need us. Hashem says, I could figure it out for these Shivas without you. The question is, will you survive? Will you be able to handle that the Zuchut? You need the Zuchut. You need to be carried by the Torah. So grab on if you can. Imagine there's a train that's going to take you out of a, the hurricane, big hurricane, big tsunami is coming to the town. You have a train to jump onto it, to get out of here. You'll be safe. Would you not go and catch this train no matter what? I mean, wouldn't you pay whatever it is to go and jump on? So how can a person not see an opportunity to support Torah and not jump on? How can you see opportunity where the Torah can uplift you, carry you? Therefore, a person has to know that the, this campaign for the Shari Tzion, for the, for the Yeshiva, we're supporting Torah, and your person has to know, when you're doing this, when you give tzedakah, you're not giving to them. They're giving you. They're uplifting you. They're giving you the et ha'im hi, the mahazikimba. Think about it. People go to a restaurant with their wife, 
They spent $250, $200, $300, easy. Apchi, they, they sneeze, they, they pay. They go to, uh, you know, to vacation. They pay top dollar. They go to a wedding. You go to a wedding every other day now in the in the summer. You're going to pay $300. you are going to pay $400, whatever it is. So what? $500 even. So what? A person cannot give the same amount to the yeshiva where it's going to go and give you such a zuchut, give you the ability, it's haim ha you give there. What's the difference? Give here also. It's so easy. But the Yitzhara doesn't want you to do it. The Yitzhara doesn't want to give you a lama ba. The Yitzhara wants to tell you, why? Ah, let them work. I also work. Let them work hard for their money. Why should I pay them? Why they should get a freebie? You should know. The Yitzhara is trying to trick you. You should overcome. And you'll see that it will take you. Mala, mala. Bezrat Hashem. Baruch Amen.